Introduction Everyone on this earth have that question in mind which constantly keeps hitting them like Tell me, tell me now, how was the universe created? How did it actually came into existence? How are they present here? How long are they going to stay here? Or what is going to happen in future with this earth? But never really got any answer to this, although according to scientific studies, there is one theory which explains some points that somehow makes answer valid for our brains. And this theory is what you can call as Big Bang Theory. You always are taught to believe that universe is infinite and thus no one can really find out about how it ever came into existence, but this theory made it somehow proved as wrong. According to Big Bang Theory, it is about 13.8 billion years ago when this universe came into existence, and that too as a singularity. What does this singularity word actually refer to? Well, there is not any perfect explanation to this word, but it is believed that singularity refers to the zone which can really disobey the concept of physics that you may have been studying for years as it says that singularity exists in the core of black hole. You know the hole, which is considered as the areas of intense gravitational pressure, and the pressure is believed to be so much intense that it actually squish up the finite matter into infinite dis into infinite density, where infinite densities are known as singularities. Also, it is believed that our universe actually originated as infinitely small, infinitely hot and also infinitely dense, but no one actually knows about where it came from. And then after that initial appearance, it actually exploded, what you can also call as Big Bang, and cooled, in more simple language, you can say that it actually transformed from being that very, very hot and very, very small to the current version and gave home to us, unique creatures, on this unique planet. If you are asking about what was there before this entire thing, well, the answer to this is there was nothing, yet there was nothing at all according to studies. Also, there are many other names that are being given to this theory, as when it was initially proposed by Limiter, he called his observation as primeval atom, which was years later changed by George Gamow as Elam. Also, it was once called as primordial atom and cosmic egg. Chapter 1. History of Big Bang Theory now, before you take any step forward about knowing more on Big Bang Theory, it is important that you learn about what is the history of Big Bang Theory as it will help in better understanding. Starting off the history, what is the first thing that is needed to be discussed here? What gave birth to this Big Bang Theory? Or you can say, what is the thing that led to the indication of Big Bang Theory at very first step? So, on answer to this, in 20th century there were some observations made related to universe, or you can say spiral galaxies, by an American astronomer named as Vesto Sliffer, which calculated their Doppler redshift. In result, the only thing that was found was that all of the spiral galaxies were moving away from our own. Moving forward in the year 1922, Russian cosmologist Alexander Friedman, through his examines, developed what you may be knowing by the name of Friedman equations, and that were that time derived using Einstein's equations of general relativity. Before this, Friedman's discovery about universe being in the state of expansion was that pure conflict to Einstein's cosmological constant, which finally made him believe that this discovery was not at all wrong and universe is actually in the state of expansion. Then, in 1924, Edwin Hubble's calculation of great distance to the nearby called Nebula showed that these structures were certainly in other galaxies, along with which he carried out with his calculations, finding out a distance between these objects, and thus, in 1929, came up with a discovery according to which there is some relation between the universe and other celestial bodies, which is now also known by the name of Hubble's Law. And on the other side, in 1927, Georges Lemaitre's, a Belgian physicist and Roman Catholic priest, was working upon the equations derived by Friedman, and that too independently, as a result of which he discovered that this distance between universe and celestial bodies is increasing because of the expansion of universe. 
In 1931, he took this theory forward and suggested that now if the universe is expanding, that clearly indicates if one moves back in time, then what they are going to find is that universe actually started from nothing. Well, nobody really knows that, but it is truly believed that universe at first was too much dense and hot. However, there were lots of discussions about this in 20s and 30s and lots of critics came forward to make this theory go false. Also, Lemaitre was accused of making this theory come into existence. There were some other theories which were derived at this same time, discussion about how whole of the universe came into existence and what it is all about, such as Mill model and Oscillary Universe model, which was derived on the basis of Einstein's theory of relativity according to which universe was moving on those definite or indefinite cycles. As the World War II got into rest, followers of steady state model and Big Bang theory were on a debate and Big Bang theory was already into the air and was grabbing more and more popularity. And finally, got confirmation with the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation in 1965 and thus made it come out as the best theory about the beginning and development of universe. And moving forward, it got to have that solid base as astronomers and cosmologists made all of their efforts between the era of 60s to 90s. Moving forward, there were a number of modifications made in this theory in late 90s and 21st century, so as to make it more understandable by people. In 1988, it was also found that expansion of universe is accelerating, which was also supported by various observations made by ground-based CMB and many other galaxy redshift surveys. Also from years of 2003 to 2010, NASA took lots of pictures that were really a very detailed version of universe and it clearly explained that this universe is created about 13 point billion years ago, as per defined in the calculations made in Big Bang theory. So these positive results, all of the people believe that there is not any other theory derived yet which can explain the evolution of universe in so much detailed and proper manner as done by this one. Now, the only work that is being done is upon finding about that how does these galaxies emerge when the universe was forming up and also finding clues to the concepts of dark matter and dark energy. Chapter 2 Where does this Big Bang theory originated from? Now, reading the introduction, you already know that what this Big Bang theory is all about and who were those people having their hands bringing this concept into light. Moving forward, there are many questions which one got to know about this theory, among which the very first one is to know about where the Big Bang theory actually brought out from. Talking about this, Big Bang theory is the final result of two different scientific approaches which are named as astronomy and cosmology, among which astronomy is carried out by using those different instruments which astronomers use to observe stars and other celestial bodies, and on the other side, cosmology is the study which is related to astrophysical properties of universe. Now getting into some deep information, it was in 1800 when astronomers started experimenting with these tools which were named as spectroscopes, a device which scatters light into the band of its constituent wavelengths. Basically, this tool helped them in knowing about the kind of elements that are present in light source all by looking at the wavelength distribution. At the same time, there were two more discoveries made about sound and light according to which frequency of sound waves depend upon the position of the source where that sound is coming from. Specifically, which means that if the source of sound is somewhere near you, then the frequency of sound waves will automatically compress and thus it will be a bit louder for you. On the other hand, if that source goes away from you, then the frequency will scatter, which makes the volume go low and thus you hear it with different pitch. This is also known as Doppler effect. And talking about the discovery on light, astronomers got to find that some of the stars are moving away from the Earth. How? As you know that light travels in waves too, and thus there were some scientists who while studying over their discoveries found that there are some stars which had more of their light falling onto the red side of the spectrum. 
and this shifting of light meant that the stars are moving away. As they move away, their wavelengths stretch. This theory was later known by the name of Fred Shift. Now, after these discoveries, later, in 1920, there was a scientist named as Edwin Hubble who noticed something weird happening there at the top. Velocity of star is believed to be proportional to its distance from the Earth, which in other words can also be said as that the distance of the star from Earth is equally increasing as about its moving away from Earth, which made Hubble to discover that Earth is expanding. Though there were lots and lots of discussions on which can be any possible relation between a velocity of any celestial body up there with its distance from the person standing here watching it from Earth. And Hubble actually failed in giving that proper explanation as he provided the number which was overestimated according to the studies made in future on same thing. This discovery made by Hubble was later on named by Hubble Constant. So, now as you have already read that Hubble discovered that Earth is expanding continuously and which directly states that billions of years ago this Earth was much way smaller than in which you are living now. So basically, according to this theory, if you go long times back then, what you will only get to see is universe with infinite density containing all of the matter of energy, space and time of universe. And so that was how Big Bang Theory came into action. Like any other theory, this theory also had some conflicts already waiting to disagree with this, among which the most famous one was Albert Einstein. According to him, Earth is static and the static universe doesn't change. He studied many of his theories so as to get positive results out of it, but to his surprise, according to all of the calculations made by him, the only thing that came out as a result was Hubble's observations were correct and thus which were later concluded by Einstein. However, this theory and observation gave rise to many of the predictions, some of which were proved as not valid and many of them are still talked about. After some years, during 1960s, discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, made this Big Bang Theory get solidified. Chapter 3 What is Cosmology? As you may already know that Big Bang Theory is derived from two concepts, that is cosmology and astrology, among which astrology is something which you all are somehow aware of, but cosmology, well, there are some roots that you still need to know about this concept. So cosmology is that concept of physics which studies about the beginning and ultimate outcome of universe. This is not very much far from the concept of astronomy or astrophysics. In other words, you can also say that cosmology is something which comes out by connecting the performance of largest structures in universe, like planets, galaxies, stars and galaxy clusters, to the smaller ones. Basically, the particle matter in the universe. If you look upon the history of this concept of physics, it is actually believed that this is one of the eldest forms of hypothetical inquiry into nature. This is believed to become into existence when in history some ancient human looked upon a sky and thought about the questions like how they are existing here or what is happening there in the sky or are they alone in this universe or maybe what are those shiny things that are twinkling in the night sky. To find answers to which there were many of those good attempts made. Chief among all of those ancient people in the Western technical tradition is the physics of the earliest Greeks, who established an inclusive geocentric model of the world which was studied and worked over the eras until the period of Ptolemy, at which point cosmology actually didn't grow further for numerous centuries, apart from some of the facts about the speeds of the several mechanisms of the system. The next most important change, or one can say improvement, in this part originated from Nicolaus Copernicus in the year 1543 when he issued his paperback related to astronomy on his debated outlining the indication of the heliocentric model of the solar system. 
The basic vision that brought out this transformation in thinking was the concept that there was not any of the real reason which can prove to be helpful in assuming that the Earth comprises a fundamentally privileged spot within the physical space. This major change in conventions is termed as the Copernican Principle. Copernicus' heliocentric model developed even more popular and accepted by all of the efforts made by Tycho Brahe, Galileo Galilei and Johannes Kepler, who gathered substantial experimental indication in provision of the Copernican heliocentric model. And then all of these discoveries were used together by Sir Isaac Newton, who gave a proper explanation about planetary motions. He was the person who had this unique instinct and vision to recognize that the motion of those objects that are falling to the Earth was somewhat related to the motion of those looping around the Earth. And as the motion was comparable, he discovered that it may be probably because of that some force which he termed as gravity. So by making that careful observation and the expansion of a new arithmetic called calculus and also using his three laws of motion, Isaac Newton finally succeeded in making up the equations that were able to describe the motion in a variety of circumstances. Now, as this gravity law theorized by Newton made it possible to predict the motion of particle out there, but there was still one problem – according to which, still, it wasn't accurately clear to anyone that how it was actually functioning that way. Though, according to the theory, it was anticipated that objects with mass fascinate each other through the space, but there was not any clear scientific explanation to this statement by which Newton could explain this whole of the mechanism of gravity. And so, in account of explaining this mystery, Newton trusted upon that basic appeal to God, according to which objects out there are behaving this way because of the God's perfect existence in that outer space. And thus, for finding that physical description, they have to wait for over two centuries, until the advent of that mastermind, and who proved out to be Albert Einstein, who with his theory of general relativity, took a step forward to redefine this scientific understanding of gravity. According to Einstein's new invention, gravity was formed as a result of the twisting of four-dimensional space-time in reaction to the occurrence of a huge object that can be a planet, a star or even a galaxy. The most important fact which came out of this formulation by Einstein was that space-time itself was not instability, which basically means that it will either expand or contract. And to fire this according to Einstein, universe was everlasting, and so he discovered the cosmological constant into the theory, but which later on proved out to be wrong, as according to Hubble's theory, the universe is continuously expanding. So basically, if universe is expanding, then that means if one pushes off that rewind button, then what they will get to see is that universe began from that tiny little thing which no one actually knows about. It is also believed that when scientists took that deep information about the evolution of universe and the theory of cosmic microwave background radiation, what they got to find is that there was some problem with same, and thus quantum physics needs to really play strong to explain this concept properly. This concept of academic cosmology is also sometimes known as quantum cosmology. Now, as the technology has taken various steps forward, and same is the case with science, which means that there are also some improvisations in the field of cosmology, but there are some of the mysteries that are related to cosmology and are still somehow wavering around, such as these two. Dark matter. There are some galaxies out there which are operating in a manner that cannot be completely explained only on the basis of amount of matter that they are carrying with them which is also known as visible matter, but if there is some of that additional unnoticed matter within that galaxy, then it can actually become somehow explainable. Based on those recent measurements, it is found that this additional matter that can be found in the galaxy is expected to take up about 25% of space in the universe is known as dark matter. Dark energy it was in late 1998 when astronomers tried to notice the rate at which the universe was reducing down, but what they found out as a result was that it was not at all reducing down. 
Instead, it seems to be speeding up, and thus this was the time when Einstein's formulated cosmological constant was there to be used at last. But what they noticed was that universe was not really at the state of equilibrium, but was pushing all of the galaxies away, and that too at really, really fast rate. There is no idea about what all is causing this repulsive gravity to occur, but it has already been named by physicists as dark energy. Now, as you know the concept of cosmology, it will be easy for you to understand whole of the concept of Big Bang Theory. Chapter 4 That first, second and thirteen billion years By now, you must have known about what this Big Bang Theory is all about and how and by whom does it came into existence. There is not any perfect explanation about what would have happened at that instant as laws of science were not as valid that time as they are now. So now as you know that according to scientists, the earliest moment occurs at t equals 1 to 10 seconds, where t refers to the time when universe was just being created. So during these earliest moments of Big Bang, the universe was believed to be so small that classical physics, which students usually study in schools, doesn't apply to it and thus it brought out the need for getting calculations out of quantum physics. Though this concept of quantum physics actually plays with one's knowledge and concepts that one is already carrying in their minds through classical physics, but scientists believe that combination of these two can help people in much better way to know about how universe actually works or is originated. Now talking about that earliest time period, it was a time when universe was actually very very small, dense and hot and that time it only covered the region of 1.10 centimeters. Also it is believed that temperature that phase was 1.10 billion degrees Kelvin, which cooled down as soon as the universe expanded with time. This whole process of expansion of universe is named as inflation by cosmologists. Moving forward, as the universe expanded, it filled up with an equal amount of matter and antimatter among which the matter was more in quality, which later on combined with other particles to form a matter all over. And thus, after that one second, the universe got more and more expanded and cooled and thus made up a world in which one can exist into. Now, learning about that first second, you must be almost having an idea about what all would have happened at that time of Big Bang, but there are also those 13 billion years which took this whole universe to create a perfect world for you. There is a lot that happened in that one second, but what next? After around 100 seconds of all this activity, it is believed that the temperature of universe cooled down to 1 billion degrees Kelvin and during which all of the subatomic particles were in that continuous process of combining with each other, but electrons were still not capable enough to combine with nuclei due to the high temperature in universe and thus it collided with other particles like positrons resulting into photons. Universe still continued to cool and expand. It was about after 56,000 years when universe got cooled to 9,000 degrees Kelvin and thus resulted into the density of matter distribution to match the density of radiation. Then after some more of 324,000 years, universe expanded and cooled down to the temperature of 3000 degrees Kelvin and this was the time when electrons and protons finally got a chance to combine with each other and form different hydrogen atoms. Now this collision also allowed the universe to get transparent and shine i.e. after about 380,000 years of that first moment when universe began to form. The radiation that is now being examined and called as cosmic microwave background radiation at that time locked away. This is the radiation which when studied makes scientists know that what would have happened at the starting of making up a universe. Moving forward it took about 100 more million years to universe to expand and cool more and more along with which there were those gravitational fluctuations happening continuously which were allowing particles of matter to cluster or combine together. 
the gases in the universe started getting collapsed due to the behaviours of gravity, which in turn made it more and more dense and hot, thus which turns out in taking a shape of stars after some 100 or 200 billion of years of universe formation. These gases converted into stars, combined together to form up the galaxies, though some of them also took the form of supernovas. With the explosion of stars, it gave birth to the matter which is ejected out in the universe and the whole process just took their proper place and hence at last formed out our solar system. It is believed that our solar system was formed around 4.6 billion years ago. Today, as you can see, the temperature of the universe is no less or more than 2725 degrees of Kelvin, which is just slight degrees away from that absolute zero term. Now you know how this whole of the universe is formed, and about our solar system too. Chapter 5. Lesson to learn from Big Bang. Now there is a lot that has already been discussed about Big Bang theory and universe, and also about the solar system. Getting on this chapter, you're going to know about what Big Bang really tells us about this universe and what is that final lesson that this theory can make you learn. Big Bang was initially used by cosmologists to find out the age of universe, but was not really accepted by every cosmologist as according to this theory the age span was around more than a billion of years. And also, this discovery about expansion of universe raised many more questions in the mind of scientists, such as, will this activity of expansion continue forever, or will this take a reverse direction? And the answer to this question is only that it all depends upon how much matter is available in the universe. You know that gravity is that force which attracts particles of different matter, and thus make them collapse with each other, it is also said that the aggregate of gravitational force which is exerted by one body on another depends only upon the size of those objects and space between them. Now, if there is enough of matter in universe, then it is said that the universe will stop expanding and thus, which will, as a result, make it a bond, this type of universe is named as closed universe, having positive curvature by cosmologists. But in any case, if this matter is not enough, then universe will expand forever and thus it will result into the space which is having no curvature or one can say that negative curvature. There are also many of the scientists who have discovered that our universe at present is the latest one among all till now in this cycle of universes that is expanding and contracting. Also, you will be stunned to know that universe has no centre, all according to the concept of Big Bang Theory, which definitely means that all of the points out there are just same as like any other. From our perception, it appears like every other thing in the universe is just going away in the manner advised by the Big Bang. Also, there was one theory derived which says that Earth itself is the centre of universe as it will explain it better about why all of the things are going away, but later on, which proved as wrong by cosmologists. Many of those important questions are there, which are not talked about by this very famous Big Bang theory, which are as follows. What happened right before this Big Bang? This question is non-answerable by the scientists, as there is no calculation about what happened when t equals zero seconds, and so this is out of the reach of science. What is there out of the universe? Well, you know this is also the one which is not answerable by anyone, as one cannot really know about what is there out of this universe, no matter which shape this universe is heading towards. One just cannot know that what is laying there outside of the boundaries of universe. Never. What about the shape of universe? We don't know. Though there are many of such searches that are being carried out about what can be the possible shape of universe. Something that it is boundless and so shapeless while there are also some who believe that universe is bounded. And hence there is no proper solution to this. Chapter 6 what are the problems with Big Bang Theory? Now, as this Big Bang Theory came into light, there were many of those who did everything to criticise this model and thus raised number of questions, actually, which are worth of asking about. Let's have a look. 
The very first criticism that raised out of the discovery of this theory is that it breaks up the very first law of thermodynamics, according to which one cannot create or destroy the matter or energy, and Big Bang theory is just talking about that universe came out of nowhere. Answering which, the scientists said that this theory is not talking about the creation of universe, but the evolution and adding to which it is also said that laws of science always breaks down when one approaches to the study of universe, and so in that case, even the first law of thermodynamics is also not to be applied. Formation of stars and galaxies also turned out in the form of critic, as they said that it violates that law of entropy according to which systems of change become less ordered with time. In answer to which, if one looks upon the earlier universe being totally homogeneous and isotropic, then universe today is totally obeying the law of entropy. Also, there are some who believe that these discoveries made by scientists are just a misinterpretation. In other words, they want to say that scientists are wrong about the concept of red shifts or cosmic microwave background radiation. Some of them also claim that there are not such celestial bodies that were the part of this Big Bang theory concept. Big Bang theory to some people also seems to destroy the concept that there is nothing which can drive faster than light. And so, to answer this criticism, people said that at that time of Big Bang there was not any kind of such theory been introduced, and thus it has no point of making it an issue. Also, it is said that space is nowhere inside the domain of gravity, and so it can spread as fast as possible, and that too more than the speed of light. Following these critics, there were also many of the theories that explain this concept of development of universe, but all of them left behind this Big Bang theory. Some of them are, among which the very first is steady state model, the model which through its theory suggests that the universe was is and always going to have that same density. This theory resolves the obvious confirmation that the universe is expanding by discovering that the universe produces matter at a rate proportional to the universe's rate of extension. Next is the ekpyrotic model, according to which this universe is formed as a result of collision occurred between two worlds which are completely three-dimensional and which is somewhere hidden in that fourth dimension. Well, this theory is not actually conflicting the Big Bang theory, as after describing some of its concepts, it finally lands onto the Big Bang theory and thus supports the concept described there. Moving forwards to the Big Bounds theory, which according to its discoveries suggested that our universe actually belongs to the series of various universes, which first expands and then contracts. Plasma cosmology is also one of those theories which describe the universe in terms of electrodynamics possessions of universe. Plasma is actually described as an ionized gas, which is the gas having those free roaming electrons that can conduct electricity. Also, there is one more theory that may be very well known by the people who have studied about this Big Bang theory, and that is named as Cosmic Inflation Theory, which gives that total different view of describing the universe and its evolution. Inflation theory is the one which in its concept brought together the ideas from both quantum physics and particle physics to explain the evolution of universe. According to the concept of this theory, it is believed that the universe was generated in an unbalanced energy state, which as a result produced a fast expansion of the universe in its first moments. There were many of the consequences which resulted out of this theory, among which the one was that the universe is actually very much bigger than expected. On the other side, another consequence is that this theory expects some individuality, like uniform distribution of energy, and the flat geometry of space-time which was never ever explained in Big Bang theory. Discovered in 1980 by particle physicist Alan Goeth, this theory is now widely accepted of a Big Bang theory. No doubt, Big Bang theory provided that best information about the evolution of universe, but you already know that there were also some problems with the theory, which made it somehow lack behind, and thus inflation theory provided all of the information in much better way. So, it is now being studied as the part of Big Bang theory.